a hole in the earth, and I'm poetically trying to fill it, and some days I say things that are so powerful that I dare not admit that I even wrote it. My mother used to say, I know you better than you know yourself. She still believes that to this day, and if she can't fathom why her eldest son would wear a dress, paint his nails, and put a manhood to the test if my sexuality or what I wore made the derivative of my acceptance. Parents always say that you are accepted, but we the children are misunderstood. They never admit to this. They always say that I was accepted. As long as I wasn't gay, no teen should witness love this way. That is, love has permission to act pinprick itself in the universe, and I dare not render myself tomorrow's truth. I'd rather sit in a closet or put myself to the noose, because this is Haley's Comet. Like so many stars that are falling around the sun whose beauty can't acknowledge their loss, because this is a world that is so lost in a nauseous yesterday where doubt fills itself in the patience of breath. Where we nitrate our dreams to rebirth a buzz after the nine to five or the potential, the risk of repulsion. Do I write? I nod my head in the mirror. The overture of silence decompresses myself in a somber atmosphere that alludes to the fact that I am still, I'm still the landlord of a closet, and the ember fire of my dying comet. It's an emotional apocalypse, and the excisement activity of myself is a pinprick pick pin down to the breaking point of my heart. And no child should ever have to witness love this way. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be accepted, as your sexuality says. This is how I put manhood to the test. But I'm not, I just like to wear a dress, and paint my nails, and put on lipstick shadow let my hair down my long locks are a parade of my beauty and this is the sexual test of myself in the mirror that I bear a shadow and I am not invisible there is no closet that a child to a teen to a man to anyone else should have to witness because love shouldn't be pretentious and it shouldn't have permission to act this way and the breaking point in the universe is is the, parent, the parental admission that you can't, that they won't accept you unless, unless, and I tell you the truth, no child should ever have to witness love this way, as if it acts like a crowd surfing content on table, television of what it only can understand, but love must embrace for this is the peace offering of truth.